Today is the day. Be afraid of the gang sign and not my actual piercing. I immediately got what I wanted. I show people a picture of me on my driver's license of me at 17 years old to prove that I'm as old as I am now. But it's like, that's weird. This purse is giving salary. And yes, I am choosing to play ball with the mic. But it's only because I had better luck in post with the mic situation. The bigger goal for today is my interview. My interview is today. This isn't my first interview, but it's the most promising one. So I feel very excited. Nervous? Surface levelly nervous. Kinda anxious. But I know like mind-wise, I'm choosing to be stressed. And I don't want to choose that. I genuinely just want to chill. Because it's a, that's a long time to be stressed out. I don't have that interview until like one. But in order to be there on time, in order to look professional, in order to have all that stuff together, that's what's going to be the culprit of stressing me out. Now, honestly, I'm going to spend most of the day mentally fighting myself to not stress. I don't want the stress. I'm not inviting that into my life. I'm not choosing that as a choice. I'm going to optimally try very hard not to stress whatsoever. It's just bad for me to stress that long and that hard. See, I don't want to unstress too hard to where I just like casually not forget that I have an interview, but like casually don't prepare enough for when the time comes. Because on the contrary for me wanting to like choose no stress, I genuinely have a lot of stuff to do today. I genuinely have a lot going on. Not only am I trying to make that interview, but I also have another meeting right after that. It's on Zoom, so hopefully that'll give me the flexibility to do both. Because originally, I wasn't even going to make the meeting. I was going to make the interview. But the meeting? Question. Because I'm still getting back on track with my whole, like, posting schedule, getting it back together, like, Hopefully there's another video that comes out before chronologically that kind of explains where I am in the process of like getting my life back together, getting out videos again. I've yet to like export my first video to see if my setup, my current setup is working correctly. But in the meantime, I still have to like continue with content, continue with life and just, yeah. Ultimately, I chose this path. So I'm not even mad. I definitely want to utilize this time and space to actively practice not stressing out in a stressful situation. Allowing myself to feel nervous, but not panicked. Like, there's no reason to panic, for real. Yeah, this is the process, because I think I think my professional clothes are in this men, for real. Also, the reason why I would be semi-overwhelmed is because there's a lot to, like, prepare for. It's currently 8. 37. So I got a decent chunk of the morning to like get it together. But I don't know why I would choose to stress. At this point, the feeling feels more habitual to stress rather than like actual stress. I don't know the difference. But I figured maybe turning the camera on and sharing my actual experience would make me feel a bit better about the process. I should probably pull these out. These are my professional clothes. This was what I was originally going to pull out with that specific top. They have these bottoms, professional bottoms. Oh, that's a whole skirt. Yes, and or no man. We got a brown, professional pair of pants. We got a dress. And I think there's a jacket that comes with this. But I'm not trying to do all that. Because as a sweet bonus of everything I got going on today, I'm also on my period. At the same time I was trying to get my life together with a job, it was the same time my team, my production group wanted to like come together for another meeting. I definitely got that TV secondhand and let's just say it didn't come in the best. It was free, so was I really going to say no? Another issue that I chose to head first run into is um my piercing. For the sake of a theorized argument in which my mom may or may not be right, I will choose to attend this interview piercing list, which I'm cool with in general. Like, do what you got to do to get the bat. But in the same hand, does that defeat the purpose of, like, a first impressions? 
picking out my piercings and which I would come back just to wear piercings again? It's a genuine question that I'm going to ask at some point during the interview process to be like, hey, is it against dress code to like have nose piercings? I feel like some people have like really strong opinions about that for really no reason. They just want to just want to be right and strongly feeling about something. Like, why don't you feel this strongly about climate change, you know? But then the same argument can be used against me saying like, well, why did you get piercings? Did you need to have a nose piercing? It's more or less the issue, really. That was something my mom was trying to suck me out. It's not really relevant. I just felt like it was an attack against my character. If anything, I'm a shining example of how you can be pierced up had it up and be like a regular person. I don't know where this rhetoric comes from where every tattooed or pierced person is like thrown off. It's just a piercing. It's jewelry. It's not a gang sign. <laughs> be afraid of the gang sign and not my actual piercing. I guess I'm just taking personal offense to it because I personally want more piercings and tattoos and things of that nature. But it would genuinely be for myself. I'm going to steam these for options. If anything, I think it's kind of messed up how the corporate world like needs you to play a certain character in order to be considered professional. Like some of the most professional people be the most grimiest folks you can find. See, I don't like this option as a shirt. I pulled it out because I literally never wore it. Still has the tag on it tightly. I don't know. It's just the idea of it all is kind of overwhelming that I have to like kind of play an NPC character in order to get a job. Like I know life doesn't have to be this as difficult as we're all making it and playing into it to be. I'm just really hoping we get to a point where we realize we do it too much. I'm not sure at what point did we all like eventually agree that separating people on a bus by color was just doing too much. Like, I honestly would have never survived that era. You know, I gotta steam it. it. It's a whole process. We're getting through it. How redundant it was to preserve racist tendencies by doing stuff like Jim Crow laws. I mean, simply learning of the existence of a time where we actively participated in stuff like that really makes me distrust how we function as people. I do not trust us as a society, for real. <laughs> It's the fact that it was more inconvenient to reset up my camera again. I was gonna like show me getting the food, but there was no line. <laughs> you know how like when you're waiting in line? If I was waiting in line, I would have vlogged at that time. There was no wait. I immediately got what I wanted. Okay, this is the look. I tried really hard to look really mina, like beyond barely basic, barely anything. I even think the blush is overdone. Not too much because it's like the complexion of my face. But in the same sense, I did record like a get ready with me and that John was not on. He was muted, which I did know, but I had a hint that it did that. So hopefully it's working. But this is what I was uh, dreading. You know, who else is doing this? And while I was like, contemplating and dreading taking them out, I was really thinking like, why did I care so much? And for me, it was like an individuality thing. Like, you want me to not be a person. You want to work me like a workhorse and don't give me a name. Truly assimilate to NPC level existence. I look too bare for all the nice things that would complement the way I would idealize myself. I feel like her too much. I very much too much. Even my more normal stuff. Too much. The reason why piercing are just not even piercings, because I'm literally putting in like a regular, considerably regular like piercing, which was done without my permission. I'm not saying that I don't like my ears to be pierced. I'm just saying that the only piercings that are acceptable 
that I got without my permission. It's just a bunch of things that don't make sense to me. Like, I still have my, like, driver's license that will expire this year. So maybe I can change that soon. But it's like, I show people a picture of me on my driver's license of me at 17 years old to prove that I'm as old as I am now. But it's like, that's weird. If that was anything other than an ID picture, like, why is this man needing to see me, needing to see this photo of me? This underage photo of me. And see, now I feel like these are too much. I feel like everything is too much. Like, I am not good at being regular. I'm not good at being minimal. Literally illegal. I feel like I'm trying so hard to look like a five right now. Because like, it's in my face. You had a face like mine? You had a body like mine? Would you purposely dress like a five? Be honest. All of it is too much. I struggled so hard to put that on. This shit makes me look like I use black soap, which I low key do. <laughs> These earrings are coming out too. Couldn't do that either. I just look too much. That's my problem. That's my issue. It's giving a medium seven. But if I don't try at all, I look homely. And if all else fails, we're compensating with confidence. We say I don't have to be that loud. Okay. That's literally my last strategy, my last stitch effort. I just dropped all those socks on the floor. That will be my last stitch attempt. Straight up blind confidence. It'll give you more of a push than we probably would assume. I try very hard not to be confrontational or disagreeable in any way. No one likes disagreeable women, especially when they black. Hey, do you guys a fit check? So I went with the brown pants because, look, I'm trying to be plain Jane on purpose. We've gotten the low heel because these are the only professional looking shoes i own like i don't even need this purse for real i just want it to look like i want it to look like you can feel comfortable paying me a real check every two weeks this purse is giving salary not per hour but even look at that like this is purposely made to make me look like ooh, that's so sad i'm actively growing my glutes and this particular outfit is made to completely hide the fact that i have an actual that I am indeed a woman with an actual but yeah I need to figure out where the locale is make sure I have I get some lights that made it worse <laughs> I'm sorry y'all I'm honestly geeking for the simple fact that uh this possibly could be my job my place of work I'm not gonna show you everything I will be casual I get some lighting on my phone and I forgot how to put on a flashlight you just want to be difficult, don't you? Oh, is it that deep? Is it that deep? I really tried. So, um, yeah, I'm going to attempt to go out there and be lost in the sauce. I had very, very specific instructions from my mom to help me get down here. I was actually on the phone with her to learn how to get down here. But I kind of lost connection with her from being underground in this parking lot. Hopefully this is a correct parking space. So the girl don't even know if I got that right. But yes, we're gonna um we're gonna make it shake. We're gonna make it work. Hopefully I'm gainfully employed by the end of this. And if not, I gave it a good shot. Bye y'all. I'm back. How I feel about it? It is what it is. <laughs> I either got it or I don't. That's cap. I feel good about it, but it's in the air. It could be a yes, it could be a no. I did so so. Okay, we'll see. And if it's not for me, it's just not meant to be. You know what I'm saying? No L's over here. Was that loud? I was talking like I had to be projected towards. So basically, yeah, went in, did the interview, had lunch. That was a wave. Now, I gotta get back home so I could do this meeting, this production meeting that I'm having with my team. But beyond that, that's like half of my day done. Bag secured. Was it stressful? Honestly, not really. The most stress that all of this was, was the timing. Getting here on time, figuring out where to park for real. Speaking of park, validated parking. I should have asked for parking validation, but it'd be what it be. Catch up with you guys later. May. Closed on Sunday. You my Chipotle. Okay, so I have just under 15 minutes. Oh! Sorry, I just wasn't expecting my uterus to do all that. Um, oh, I actually have 10 minutes now. You cute. I'm, ooh, I almost like the makeup on my face. I forgot I put any on. 
because I've been a bum this entire time. It's crazy how everything fell in line. Like, I really didn't want to say anything. Like, I was really going to miss that meeting. And I even could have made the meeting if it was in person. But it's on Zoom, which I prefer. Do I have the link already? Already? Yeah, bro. It's a lot going on. Not that I'm in intimidated on my goofy so good looks because i was really looking for that it was an email that was sent half an hour ago and yes i'll join it in like eight more minutes i really just want to watch youtube and decompress but i know i have to put on my a game for at least like i don't know another half hour but yeah i don't even know what this meeting is about i barely knew what the job interview was about or was it for what position was i playing in the field yeah and I don't want to just like sit down, relax, and accidentally fall asleep. Like, accident. So I'm trying to stay in my business clothes so I can feel like I'm still businessing. But at the same time, if I was going to work, I would continue to edit. But if I wasn't going to work, I would get to know my bed a little more. Put the gram away. Get your family. Y'all hands and pray. When you got daughters.